now 10 miles from Mary Burr, almost. Here we are. Hi, Vivo, Maryborough traffic. Track 6340 is 10 miles northeast of Maryborough and 2500 inbound to Maryborough. Estimate time and circuit at 42 Maryborough traffic. Hopefully we get the landing on the 360. Mm. I don't know if I've had a landing in the back seat on the 360 yet. Yeah. So I guess if I'm doing that, I better join. I better set up my joint correctly. Now coming in from this angle. All right. Here's a short video for you. This is just a short video. Really, this is just a short video. I'll try and keep it short. But we will keep it, keep it for can't talk. We will keep this uh, going now, the camera. We use a 360 camera. And the reason for that is that I'm going to do a landing, okay, on a runway which is 17. We're currently approaching from 210, uh, or heading towards 210. So uh, we're not really able to join downward. We're not really able to join crosswind, we're not really able to join base, we're not really able to join final unless I shift my position. So what do we do in this situation? We have to, I plan to land, like I said, on runway 17. So, in my opinion... As I was saying, in my opinion, and... Um, with the advice from other people and and uh, what's said about doing this type of approach, it is advisable to do a three-leg circuit. How do you do three-leg circuit? So we can probably join upwind. That's not done. Uh, wouldn't do that. We could probably overshoot we're going to be going around the airport so we're going to yeah we're going to cross actually let's have a look at the solar panels let's take advantage of this it's a left hand circuit we're going to cross over to the um, dead side of the circuit which in this case is to the west we're going to go over some massive solar panels as well in the process so you'll be able to have a look at those in a moment we will be on the ground within the next nine minutes so, nine minute video. Um, I'll talk you through this whole landing and approach procedure. Hopefully I'm doing this the right way. And if anyone's got any other opinions on how I should have done this, please let me know and be constructive, let's say that. This is always, I find, always an awkward way to approach an airfield um, from this direction. So I have the runway in sight. We're about probably seven miles out. And um, at the moment, I could overfly south and do a right-hand turn and join downwind. But I'm going to look at the solar panels. We're at 2,000 feet and maintaining. And we're going to listen for traffic because we are crossing long finals. Uh, Five-mile finals intersect. All right, so we could have traffic inbound from the north on my right um, at this altitude at 2,000. So um, if we come in from this direction, from the dead side, we're going to then plan to do a crosswind join from the dead side, a left turn onto downwind to base, and then final. So that's actually a four leg, but why it's recommended to do something like that is so that we get a good chance an opportunity to look at the windsock and make sure that we've chosen the right runway direction. Now I'm not going to use AWIS, we don't really need that, that's the automated weather information service broadcast from this airfield. Um, we're just going to rely on what we can see on the windsock by doing a, an approach. We're using all the signs, we can look at water, we've got dams around, we've seen 
smoke, but the smoke's been indicating different directions. We, sh we should use smoke closer to the airport and we use wind on the surface of water, such as dams and lakes. I can see a dam out to my right at the moment and it's indicating, it looks like possibly a, uh, an easterly, but there's hardly any wind to speak of. So we've got to be vigilant, as I said, on my right hand side for aircraft. Airfield is now probably six miles. We are planning to cross directly over the finals approach path to, to do a uh, crosswind. Now, if you look at the Cali, Cali, the Cali, the Cali, the Cali, the Cali, the Cali, the Cali, yeah, so if you didn't get that, I was trying to say, before I was interrupted, look down on the right now and you'll see the solar farm. Massive. Big solar panel system. If you missed it, rewind, you'll see it again. And if you missed it again, rewind, you'll see it again. And if you rewind, you can watch it again. How's that? The magic of video. That is just amazing. From here, it's spectacular. So all those solar panels move through the day to track from east, the rising sun, to west the setting sun and they're all facing the sun at the moment they're probably at their at their maximum is it azimuth a po yeah i think that's the word not sure anyway we're uh, currently about five miles now because we are going directly to the maryborough airfield we have 19 liters of fuel remaining according to my gauge Maryborough is in my 11 o'clock position. I don't know if you can see the airfield on the uh, on the camera at this stage, on the 360. We are remaining clear so that any aircraft inbound have a lot of room to manoeuvre. Now I could easily turn final from here, but we don't know what the wind is doing. So of course that would be the easy option, wouldn't it? But we're not going to do that. I'm going to use this as an example of a safe approach to an unknown airfield. If you don't know the conditions, stay away from the airfield and try and join the circuit. And, and uh, yeah, try and join the circuit, avoiding conflict with any other aircraft operating in the area. So this time, I'm probably still about five miles to the north. I will activate my lights, so I've got strobes on the whole time, put my landing light on, makes me more visible. We will make an announcement three miles from the other side, approaching into crosswind. So we'll do a midfield crosswind join. Oh, we're currently on finals, uh, not, well, across the finals, uh, crossing a beam of the finals of runway 17, so we'll be landing from this direction shortly. Runway is now in our 10 o'clock position. Probably call this three miles. Uh, actually, we're two miles. Maribor traffic track 6340 is two miles to the north at 2000 and we're tracking to the west of the field for a midfield crosswind circuit joint for runway 17 Maribor traffic. So anyone in the area knows where we are, what we are, how we are, what we're doing and can then manoeuvre accordingly and let us know what they're doing so that we can coordinate ourselves. So we're getting very close now to be able to turn for our crosswind, joy. Now it's taking longer than I originally called because we are doing a wider joy. But like I said, we're playing it safe. Uh, we're just doing a really procedural, that's the word, a really procedural approach, safe approach, getting a good visual, getting all our cues, uh, making sure we understand the area, 
uh, maybe give us some time to look at terminal information on our charts, on our uh, what we call Ursas in Australia, en route supplementary aeronautical information. I think that's right, Ursa anyway. Um, now we're keeping a real vigilant lookout for aircraft. We can now safely turn towards the airfield, make a radio call shortly once we're actually joining crosswind. We're not close enough in yet to call that. Now crosswind joint should be at uh, circuit elevation plus 2000, which we are uh, at so that we're not in conflict with circuit traffic at 1,500. So this airfield's at 40 feet above sea level, so our altitude at the moment should be 2,040 feet. Mirigora traffic trike 6340 is joining midfield crosswind for runway 17, full stop Mirigora. Right, so we're joining from the dead side. Once we get across the runway, we can descend onto downwind, and our descent will be down to 1,000 feet for a downwind. Then we start a descent once we start turning base to 500, to turn final at 500, and then we land. That's all above ground level, or above circuit elevation, uh, not circuit, airfield elevation, aerodrome elevation. Lights on, strobes on, mixtures off. We'll turn the choke uh, power off, cruise. And we're all set, radios are correct. Traffic in the area is nil at this stage. Nothing visual, nothing on the radio. We can now commence a downwind. In a moment, we've just crossed the runway. It's now behind us. Give us enough room to make our approach. Aero traffic track 6340 is turning downwind to runway 17, full stop, Mirabara. All right, let's make a descent. 500 feet per minute is the goal, target. And we're gonna descend to 1,000. We're at 1,500. We're a beam, uh, the threshold, 1.7. Now, 45 degrees to the threshold of the runway we intend to land on is normally the point we commence our base turn. We're at 30 degrees. Army day traffic in a front of my carriage. Two eight six one zero miles to the east at two thousand. Shortly on descent for left downwind at runway one one. Second time. Two two. Army day. So back to correction. Army day. Mirabara traffic track six three four zero turning base runway one seven full stop Mirabara. Okay, so we're at 1,000 feet, turning base for a 500 foot, keep descending. We're going for 500 feet, and then we'll commence our finals. We don't need to make any further radio calls at this point in time in Australia. We've got nothing coming in from our right, which is approaching final. We've just been out to the right, that's where we passed way north of the field. Okay, we've got a 500 foot per minute descent. We're nearly about to turn. We're at 800 feet, a little high. We'll correct that on on our final. We need to make our turn. We're at 700 feet. Airspeed is 60. Overshooting slightly. Okay, maintain power. Gives us a little bit of wriggle room with an overshoot to do an S turn and correct our altitude. Right, we want a 500 foot descent. 
and we're nice and slow. We want 55 knots approach, 500 feet per minute descent, lined up, 1.7. Uh, windsock was pretty much nil. Forgot to check that, to be honest. I sort of had a glance at it as we went over the top. So we're aiming for the landing lines, which are the first single dashes, the parrot of the pair, like the number 11. So if we can land there, we're on the money. We're at 500 feet. We've got an airspeed of 60 knots. We can slow this down even more if we wish to. And we'll aim for those landing marks. We're at 100 feet. And we're going to hold off on the centre line. Best landing of my life. A little bit short of the landing marks. But how was that? That I was think impressive. That was pretty good being able to tell you what I was going to do and actually do it nearly to the textbook. Yes, if I practiced a bit more, I would get it perfect. But I was pretty pleased with that. On the centre line, perfect. Beautiful evening. It's almost worth going around again. <laughs> Why not? It is <laughs> very nice. That was just a magic flight. Hopefully that's the best landing I've got on my 360. I think it's the only one, so it must be. Hopefully the camera is actually recording. Uh, yes, we are. Yay. All right. Configure for departure of runway. Everything is great. You're rolling, just coasting down the runway now. No point using fuel for nothing. Slowing down gently. I could pull in the air brake. <laughs> okay, brakes. And that's goodbye for a landing. Goodbye. Mirabar traffic track 6340 is departed all runways. Uh, clear of all circuit, Mirabar traffic. Clear of all runways, I know. I mixed them both up. Yeah, point. Yeah, point. They will get the point. Someone will.